Lions Bo Angles. The legendary Bo Angles. We're picking up where we left off in the new South Africa map in Call of the Wild the Angler, releasing March 26th of 2024. In part one, we checked out the fish species, did an overview of the map and new gear in the shop, as well as caught a few Kerper species, a nice bronze grassy from some carp ponds, as well as a smallmouth yellowfish and an epic African tigerfish in a nearby river. <laughs> I tell you what, whoever is mowing this road needs to do a better job. <laughs> There's a lot of grass in the pavement. What's going on? All right, we've made it to this uh, area. Fin Factory is what it's called. And I was really curious what this was all about because there's so many tiny little ponds all next to each other. Um, and I'm not sure what we'll be able to find you. Uh, look on the map here, you can see where we are. This little section with all these ponds. What are we going to find in here? That is the question. I am seeing some small fish in here, and it kind of makes me wonder if maybe this is kind of like a, a breeding, sort of like a fish farm almost. Okay, I switched to a little 10, and he swam for it immediately. Just needed a smaller hook, I guess. And there are a few of them in there, I see them. Come on, you. A little red breast kerper, okay. I'm not really sure what the use of this would be in the game. I'm sure it's more of a story element than anything, kind of telling the story of like a fish farm or something like that. But who do you, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there is just like, maybe maybe that's what, what fools you. There's actually one big mama fish in here that's making all these babies. Making all these babies. She's the diamond of the bunch. Yeah, it looks like a slightly larger one, maybe. Got ya, idiot. Ooh, taking a little bit of line out with this uh, low drag. Woo. Good night. We found the mama. We found the mama. <laughs> I foretold of her legend and she showed up. <laughs> Be a gold, please. Oh, another silver. It is a blue Kerber though, which is what we needed on the other uh, lake we were fishing at. We had caught the red breast and we caught the yellow or whatever. And finally got the blue. Very nice. Well, I'm glad we actually caught a fish that was worth it, even though it's still just a silver. Maybe this is just one of those places. You have to do a little bit of searching, but there's a diamond out there somewhere. Well, we are right on this little edge here. Did it give us a fast travel point? Huh? Yeah, okay, good. It just didn't pop up for me, I guess. Look at all this. Look at all this. It's fancy. I was realizing that we haven't really fished uh, on the lake yet, and so I thought maybe we'd go to an area like this, get ourselves a, uh, a boat to uh, take out there and see if we can catch some fish. Got him. Woo, taking line, taking line. This is a pretty lightweight setup too. So it doesn't surprise me all that much. I tell you what, this guy might break us off. This might be too much for this old uh, reel and rod combo. If that is him way out there on top of the water making all those swells. Okay. Yep, sure enough. All right, slightly heavier setup here. Let's give this another try. See if, I mean, now that fish is way out in the middle of the lake, but uh, <laughs> we'll give this another try with the same setup. Maybe something similar will come along and, uh, you know, we'll give that one a go. Whoa, I was just about to zoom in, but he'd take, oh, okay. So something similar, I would think. I mean, it's a heavier rod, but he's still trying to take out some line. You can see that rod bend. We've got a decent setup for this guy now. He can't just take us all the way out. Come on, you. Slowly cranking him up here. What is it? What is it? Is this a common carp? It is a common carp. Well, that makes sense then why he freaking took it all the way. <laughs> he just took us for all the line we had the last the last one we had. Goodness gracious, 5.75 pounds. Eh, have you seen a 5.75 pound carp before? You still hold that sucker with two hands, just saying. Uh, but hey, right on. Very cool. Uh, fun to find out what fish that uh completely took all of our line, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do one more. All these trees out in the distance remind me of when I was in Taiwan. It was like super, uh, it wasn't like the rainy season, but we had just got there after it. And so the water levels on the lakes were super high. Um, and uh, the trees, there were like trees that were underwater and we were like fishing amongst the branches and stuff like that. It was super cool. Come on, there we go, taken again. Ooh, this one's taking line. I think we may have just found a good carp lake, to be quite honest. Seems like there are some carp around here. Let's see what this one ends up being. We've gotta we've gotta stop him. There he's up on 
Good night. He's got to be getting tired. He took us out to 200 feet. If it's another carp, I'm not going to be surprised. I think in moments like these where you fight a fish from like 200 feet to now 80 feet <laughs> with this lighter rod, you know, you, you just like in the in the back of your head, you're like, man, I've really done a big fight. At the same time, you're thinking it's not even that big of a fish. It's just a light rod. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's probably not even going to be that big of a fish. It's the darn thing. But uh, we are just about at the end here. Come on, last 30 feet. Is he going to have like a last stand here where he's going to fight these last 30 feet? Come on, you. Right at the end here, we should be able to see what he is. Oh, I'm thinking so. A mirror. A mirror that. Bronze mirror, 14 pounds. Right oh, right oh. Eight pound rod. And then a 14 pound mirror. Right on. That is sweet. Well, we definitely feel, I think we can say, that we found the carp lake. Uh, down here at this little peninsula here. Starting area is right up here. You go past all those uh, farm ponds or whatever you want to call them, fish farm ponds. And right in here, that's where we started catching those carp. And it got a very deep section down here as well. So let's keep on, uh, keep on trucking. We got a lot of other places to try out, I suppose. All right, so I am making my way to a river. And I surely hope there is a boat dock at the end of this drive it, oh shoot is it it feels like we're kind of out in the boonies right now i mean we, we are out in a weird spot right now but i'm hoping at the end of this uh road we will find a boat dock because i think this is where we will find some tiger fish Whew. they are making you work for it goodness christ what a windy road down to this thing two hours later all right, we've made it. Please be a boat dock somewhere. Please give me a fast travel point too. I don't want to do that every time. <laughs> yeah. All right, so unfortunately, from what I can tell anyway, there doesn't seem to be a fast travel point to this, to this little river spot here. And if you look on the map, I mean, there really doesn't seem to be another good spot to get down on this river. I mean, even at this spot, you have to go over a waterfall to get down on the river um, and everywhere else on the map doesn't really I mean maybe we can somehow get down off of this dam here and travel uh, I don't know like it doesn't seem possible so it seems strange that you'd have to travel all the way from this fast travel point all the way down here down this super curvy road down to this point and then there's no fast travel point I don't, I don't understand that, but I will say before we get back in the boat, I did notice some fish over here, which we haven't caught yet, which I really want to catch. So let's go over here and try to catch one. I mean, it's a pretty fishing spot. I'll give them that. Fishing below a waterfall is always fun. <laughs> the audio might be a little uh, interesting, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we can get into here. Basically what I was noticing was below this waterfall, it appeared that purple labios and maybe red nose labios were coming up and, uh, kind of checking out stuff at the top of the water so I thought maybe we would come up here with a red worm uh, and a bobber and just see if we can entice anything over to uh, to our, our, our hook I guess oh look at that look at that really you would think with that flow we would have a ton of slack in our line but we were somehow able to uh, set the hook on him got him Bronze purple labio, look at that thing. I will say we caught that on a, a lightweight rod, but I mean, he put up a good fight for a lightweight rod and only being a bronze, you better come prepared, get something a little bit heavier, but hey, very cool fish. Interesting looking with that big old nose there. Goodness gracious, is that not interesting or what? And now that I've caught a labio, I feel pretty good. Let's go back out into the boat and see what we can catch out on the river. We found another boat dock over here. This one have a fast travel point. This also does not have a fast travel point. However, I have noticed, I have noticed a target species over here. Oh, grab it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> oh yeah. They are so vicious, man. The African tiger fish is definitely gonna be one of the favorites on this map. I mean, this is just a little guy even. With a size four uh, frog, just a little guy, 
But did you see him go after that? That was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, the tiger fish seem to be everywhere here on the river. I think the biggest thing will be just finding a fast travel point to get down here. Driving here every time is not going to be fun. He's getting chased. He's got it. He's got it. Oh. <laughs> it's a small one, but we got it. Whatever it is. Oh, smallmouth yellowfish. Ah, the large one. It just evades us at the moment. Turn it all. But right on. Good deal. Oh, look at the size of that purple labio right there, man. He's got it. Well, I was hoping to catch too, so good deal. Saw him swimming there. Thought I had to get him. Another smallmouth yellowfish. Good deal. Get well, we're now at another dock now. We're seeing lots of purple labio swimming around and a lot of tiger fish as well. Finding the fast travel point. I feel dedicated to finding this sucker. This coming, he's coming in here. Yep, he's got it. He's got it. And he's pulling out line. Decent fish on. Decent fish. I'm still only fishing with a size three spinner, so I know it's not massive by any means. I wish I had larger spinners to catch larger fish for you all, but I just don't. <laughs> I'll have to keep on playing. We've been doing the beginner series, um, and we're we're way past the beginner series, to be quite honest, just from doing a little bit of Spain fishing and doing a little bit of South Africa fishing. And so the next beginner series episode is going to go from like level 13 to level 20 all of a sudden. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. Yeah, look at him. God, they're such a cool fish. Such a cool fish. Yes, yeah, 7.73. I don't think that's our biggest one yet. I think our biggest one was eight pounds, wasn't it? Just over eight pounds. What a cool fish. What a cool fish. All right, because there's a bunch of purple labios sp swimming around, I feel like we have to try and catch this sucker. Threw out some cheese here. See if he goes for it. Oh my, I did not expect this. We threw out for a labio. God, God, here we go. Wow. Threw out for a bigger purple labio. Ended up catching a new species. The mottled eel. Look at that sucker. You're telling me you could make this mottled eel, but you couldn't make a Wells catfish? Come on, man. Look at this thing. Look at it wriggling around. That is so sweet. What a cool fish and cool animation. I'll hand it to you. Expansive worlds. That's cool. I mean, you did a good job on that guy. He looks great. Look at him. <laughs> oh, I I kind of want him to be like, whoa, whoa, you know, and kind of <laughs> like it's slipping out of his hands or something like that, rather than just this statuesque character here. But that's cool. I love that. That is so sweet. 648 score bronze. Still just a bronze, 4.64 pounds. But hey, new species. We can be excited about that. These darn tiger fish they are everywhere. This is Jeremy Wade's worst nightmare over here. I feel so dedicated to finding a fast travel point on this river. I will travel up and down this river to find one. And if not, then we'll just we'll just send a letter with a bunch of angry faces to expansive worlds until they add one. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, we've reached a waterfall going up north. This is as high as I could get trying to go up up the water. Oh, you coming? <laughs> He's got it. Well, cool. That's what we expected to see here, I guess. <laughs> so good deal. I would love to say that we could just hit a fast travel point and head back down halfway, but uh, unfortunately, no, we have to drive all the way back down <laughs> from, from the northernmost point. All right, I just stopped watching a video at around the two and a half minute point because we finally made it back <laughs> to the halfway point where we should have received a fast travel point to begin with. Ah, <laughs> making my way down south to find a fast travel point somewhere on this river. Dun, dun, dun. Are you serious? There's not a fast travel point on this entire river. Never once did we find a fast travel point to just come here and fish for tiger fish. Okay, well, we caught enough tiger fish on the river. Let's uh, move it on. I wish we would have caught that largemouth yellowfish. Just wasn't in the cards, I guess. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah! Go, baby, go! Whoa, tree! <laughs> okay, maybe roads are okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you ever fished in a volcano before? That's what I assume this is, but maybe it's just a big mining pit. Can we fish down there? It looks like we can. Let's try it. Let's go. Getting 
deeper. Ooh. Got another fast travel point. There's a challenge down here. I'm curious what it is. Mirror carp. There's mirror carp in here. What a strange place to have mirror carp. <laughs> it's 111.7 feet deep. Oh my God. Is this a volcano or is it just a mining pit? All right, I'm switching to easier prey. <laughs> I think I saw a Kerber swimming in here. Yes, I did. Come here, Kerber. Gotcha. Gotcha. Blue Kerber, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. I don't care what you all say. This is a volcano. <laughs> it definitely looks like a mining operation. And they were mining in a volcano for the lizard people, don't you know? Well, all right, one last place I want to fish at before we uh, end this video. Maybe two, but at least this one. So let's go out here and uh, check it out. All righty, look at this spot. That was nice on the website. <laughs> this is the dam here. It just showed what, what the name of the dam was, but I missed it. So uh, anyway, I'm curious if we should fish above the dam or below the dam. Mm, not really a road going down. No, you've got to be joking me. We can't even fish below the dam. Come on. That's where I want to fish. I want to go fish down below the dam. All right, well, let's go check out this little village. Hopefully it'll give us a fast travel point just in case it turns out. Oh, this is the fast travel point. Well, how about that? Okay. Well, let's play it safe then. Let's just fish above the dam. Go see what we can get out here on the dock. Uh, there is one specific fish I'm hoping to catch out here. Oh, and the game even knows. This is the African sharp tooth catfish. I was hoping it would be over here in this deep water by this dam and, uh, and see if we can get ourselves a big old catfish, everybody. All right, it is finally nighttime. Uh, I'm gonna cast out finally and see if this does it. Will we be able to get it on the bottom rod is one of my questions. Um, where's the float rod better? It is super deep here, 64 feet. I mean, are the catfish gonna be way down there? We're, we're gonna find out. Well, I have sat here for just a bit. I've tried like three different locations. I don't know if it's just cause it's not late enough it's like seven o'clock in the evening. Maybe that's not considered nighttime. I understand. However, time is moving by so dang slow that I'm at my wits end right here. And, uh, and I'm just gonna cast out as deep as I can, as far as I can with this feeder rod. Hopefully, hopefully they're out in the deep. I'm hoping they gotta be out here, whether it's nighttime or not. They gotta be out. Here. Oh my, we actually got a nibble. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, on the liver, on the liver. Oh, this is great. Please be it, please be it. I just want one. That's, I don't even care if it's that big. We are yanking this critter in right now. <laughs> the rod is bent over, but we're still just reeling this sucker in. Oh man, that's funny. I, I moved from a number one hook to a number three, and I was curious if that would help our bite rate, but Clearly, we should have stuck with the number one hook because we could have handled it pretty easily. <laughs> oh, I hate the nighttime fishing because you can barely see anything. The headlamp needs some more power. We need some more, uh, some more lumens on this headlamp here. What did we get? What did we get? Let's go! That's what we needed. We can barely see the darn thing. But it's there, an African sharp tooth catfish. Woo, woo, woo. Oh man, we need a light out front. We need to be able to see this guy. But very cool. We need to catch a bigger one too. This is a bronze, only five pounds. But hey, that is awesome. Well, I tell you what, we have caught the African tiger fish. We've caught one of the yellow fish. We caught the mottled eel, uh, grass carp, uh, different kerpers, uh, what else, labio, uh, and, and the African sharp tooth catfish. I'm sure I'm missing some more, all the different carp, mirror and, and the common carp. Hey, this has been great. South Africa, I tell you what, 
It's been a lot of fun so far. I hope you're excited about it. Like I said, March 26th, don't know what time of the day it comes out, but I know that this game, Call of the Wild the Angler, is free on Epic Store right now, so you can try it out there if you're on PC otherwise. I think it's on Game Pass as well, on Xbox and whatnot, so hopefully you're giving it a try. Uh, South Africa looks like some fun. If it looks like fun to you, give it a go. Hit that like button, subscribe, so that you get notifications, hit that little bell um, for more videos in the future, live streams and all that sort of stuff, including every Wednesday night when we do our uh, weekly live stream from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central U.S. time, everybody. would love to see you there. But, like I said, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, and as always, remember, everyone. We're one planet, one family. Game on.